Germany's been locked down for most of the year, but that didn't stop thousands of Berliners from coming out to protest against another crisis that's only become worse during the pandemic, the cost of housing. Die Miete sind äh, unglaublich teuer, sind teurer geworden und Leute, die weniger Arbeit haben, besonders jetzt mit der Pandemie und weniger Arbeit, es ist sehr äh, schwierig, Geld zu verdienen, äh, genug Geld zu verdienen, um das zu bezahlen. Und wohnt bei meinen Eltern mit 40 Jahren, das ist eine, eine Sache für sich. Also Genau, wir kämpfen dafür, dass wir genug Wohnungen haben. The average Berlin rent has doubled over the last decade, and 85% of residents are renters. In January, local government decided to take action. One of the biggest debates in Berlin over the past few years has been about the rent cap, which was eventually passed, freezing 90% of rents for five years. But in April, that was repealed. Now activists are back with a more aggressive campaign. Berlin ist eine sehr schwierige Stadt und wir wollen, dass wenigstens die Mieten stabil sind und wir wollen nicht, dass die Berlinerinnen und Berliner die Rendite für Aktionäre bezahlen. With the rent cap overturned by the courts, Michael Prutz is now leading a campaign to nationalize hundreds of thousands of properties owned by large real estate corporations and turn them into public housing. Do you think it's fair to limit the number of apartments companies can own in the city? In diesem Grundgesetz gibt es einen Artikel, den Artikel 15, und der sieht vor, dass Grund und Boden große Produktionsfirmen oder eben große Companies enteignet werden können zum Zwecke der Gemeinschaft. Wir wollen nicht, dass in Berlin äh, Spekulanten, Glücksritter aus aller Welt einfallen und versuchen, die Preise hochzutreiben und versuchen, die Leute aus ihren Wohnungen zu verdrängen. Diese Leute wollen wir nicht in unserer Stadt. Berlin's one of the most leftist capitals in the world, and expropriation has taken center stage in the fight for affordable housing. Hello. More than 2,000 activists are collecting signatures to put the question to a referendum this September, including Nick Aleftherio. Hallo, hier schon mal für wenige Mieter unterschrieben. Gib mir. Oh, danke. Bitte schön in große Buchstaben. Mm. Eleftherio's huh? rent dropped about $350 a month during the cap. But, like thousands of others, he's now on the hook to pay that back to his landlord. Why do you support this expropriation campaign? I mean, for me, it's, it's a no-brainer. I mean, sure, it benefits uh, me personally as someone who rents uh, in Berlin, but it's not even really the personal aspect that uh, interests me. It's that this uh, is a right for everybody who wants to live in Berlin. Uh, people should not be beholden to the shareholders of uh, these companies that are profit-driven. It's just not fair. Do you think it's fair for the companies, though? They've invested and they acquired, sure, thousands of apartments, but the expropriation campaign is its expropriation. It's taking. It's cutting down these companies to size, limiting the number of apartments they can have. Is that fair? Absolutely. I mean, these companies shouldn't have a right to these apartments in the first place. And we also know that a number of them have not even been uh, keeping their bank accounts in Germany. And this money that we're paying does not actually come back to the city, and certainly a lot less than it should be. More than a decade ago, the city's debt crisis saw it selling off a chunk of its public housing to private companies. Campaigners say they just want these apartments returned to the people. The buildings was not so nice, and but uh, the, the um, atmosphere of the mm. people was mm. interesting for us. But not all landlords are big corporations. Helga and Martin oh, Haufa so nice. invested in an apartment block in 1993 as part of their retirement plan. Their building isn't at risk of being seized, but they still oppose expropriation. As we this house here bought, we must imagine. Da war gerade mal drei Jahre oder vier Jahre die DDR vorbei. Wir haben hier einen ruinösen 
Altbaubestand vorgefunden. Uns auch nie vorstellen können, dass 30 Jahre nach dem Mauerfall tatsächlich hier wieder eine Partei in den Sozialismus einführen will. What do you say to supporters of the rent cap? Ja, ähm, das hört sich sehr gut an. Ne? Das ist so dieser Slogan, Freibier für alle. Und äh, aus Sicht eines Mieters kann ich mir gut vorstellen, äh, wahrscheinlich würde ich genauso denken, dass ich sage, ja, das ist doch toll, ich spare mir 100 Euro oder 200 Euro an Mietschaft. Die machen sich überhaupt keine Vorstellung davon, was es bedeutet, ein Haus wie dieses instand zu halten. What would you propose to solve the housing crisis in the city? Also ich denke mal, das Einzige, was wirklich hilft, ist bauen, bauen, bauen. Und dieses äh, Kapital braucht Berlin, um hier Wohnungen zu bauen. Äh, und zwar Wohnungen sowohl bezahlbarer, sowohl sozialer Wohnungsbau, aber auch hoch, äh, hochpreisigen, weil wir leben in einer sehr ähm, vielfältigen Gesellschaft. But that diverse society's options are not so diverse. Construction these days mostly serves the luxury market and property companies continue to scoop up old apartments. One major player even tried to buy hundreds of units on Karl Marx Avenue. Activists couldn't miss the irony. Do you think there's a solution that's fair to both owners, landlords, and tenants? I mean, that's kind of a difficult question to answer in the current landscape because these landlords are essentially beholden to their shareholders. They have essentially a mandate to make this a profit-driven business, to make money, to pay dividends to the shareholders. And that's just never going to be in the best interest of Berliners. Do you think you guys will succeed? I am confident that we will succeed. There is so much momentum. You see people of all ages, uh, genders, races, sexuality coming together to really push for this campaign. And that's just incredibly inspiring. With uh, a movement like that, I don't see how it can fail.